Let's say I'm very thirsty. Do you have water? In modern standard Arabic. أنا عطشان جدا. هل لديك ماء? Let's break it down. أنا أنا أي عطشان عطشان thirsty جدا جدا Then, very. أنا عطشان جدا. I'm very thirsty. In the masculine form. هل لديك ماء؟ هل لديك لديك هل لديك؟ Do you have? ماء ماء water هل لديك ماء do you have water that's masculine it means i say it when i'm talking to a man now in arabic we ask yes no questions in two different ways the first way would be by simply changing the intonation in our voice the second way is by adding the word هل. For example, لديك ماء. That's just a statement. It's not a question. Listen again. لديك ماء. Now, if I want to ask a question, I can say لديك ماء. Notice how I changed my voice. لديك ماء. Or, I can say هل لديك ماء؟ Usually in spoken Arabic, we don't use the word هل. We simply say لديك ماء. Now, let's say the same sentence in the feminine form. أنا عطشانة جدا. أنا عطشانة جدا. So, the masculine form was عطشان. The feminine is عطشانة. That a sound in the end, which is the te marbuta written in Arabic, makes it feminine. عطشانة. So again, the masculine form is عطشان. The feminine form is عطشانة. هل لديك ماء؟ هل لديك ماء؟ Do you have water? Feminine. So, the masculine was هل لديك with the a sound. The feminine is هل لديك with the e sound in the end. هل لديك Do you have? Feminine. ماء Water. Let's say the two sentences again, a bit faster. أنا عطشان جدا. هل لديك ماء? This is the masculine form. أنا عطشانة جدا. هل لديك ماء? This is the feminine form.